Welcome. Let's take a look at an example of a related rates problem by looking at a rocket launch. In this problem, we have a rocket that is launched and it rises vertically. Here's a, an image of what we might be thinking of. The rocket's velocity is 800 feet per second when the rocket is 1200 feet above the launch pad. A camera located 5,000 feet from the launch pad is recording the launch and tracking the flight of the rocket and must rotate upward through an angle of theta measured from the horizontal to maintain focus on the rocket. So to put this in context, we are watching a rocket as it rises vertically like so, and over um, somewhere in the distance, we have a camera that is watching the rocket launch, and this camera must rotate through some kind of angle theta so that it can keep its focus on the rocket itself. And so the angle theta would be something like that. Okay, now what do we know? We know that uh, when h, so when the height um, of the rocket is 1200 feet, we know that the velocity is 800 feet per second. Let's translate that into uh, notation, calculus notation. So if we let h of t be the height of the rocket, and it appears time is measured in seconds, so t seconds after launch, Oops. After launch, then what this velocity is telling us is that dh dt is equal to 800 feet per second when h is 1200 feet. Uh, what else do we know? We know that this camera uh, that is watching the rocket is located 5,000 feet from the launch pad. So this base of what appears to be a triangle has a um, length of 5,000 feet. And notice that we do, in fact, end up with a right triangle. So now that we've um, come to grips with the context of the problem, let's look at a couple of questions to answer regarding this. Let's go ahead and start with a really quick little sketch to help guide our um, problem solving. Recall that we had this triangle, this right triangle, and our camera was over here on the right. The base of this triangle was 5,000 feet, and we called h the height of the rocket. Now, um, h is the height of the rocket, and as the rocket rises, um, its um, value changes over time. So let's see what, uh, what question we're going to answer first. Uh, we want to find the necessary rate of change of the angle so that it remains focused on the rocket. Now recall that our, the angle is located here. Now also recall that we noted that dh dt was equal to 800 feet per second when 
uh, the height of the rocket was 1,200 feet. And so to find the necessary rate of change, we need to create an equation that will relate um, the rate of change in angle and the rate of change in height. And to do that, we need to create an equation that will involve both the angle of the camera from the horizontal and the height of the rocket. So once we create an equation that relates the height of the rocket and the angle of the camera, then we can use differentiation to relate those rates and then answer the question about the rate of change in the camera's angle. So looking back over here at our triangle, notice that we have our angle labeled theta. Uh, we know the side adjacent to angle theta is 5,000 feet, and we know that h is the height of the rocket, and that is the side opposite the angle theta. So given information about the sides of the triangle both adjacent and opposite to theta, and the fact that we have a right triangle, we can use a trigonometric function to accomplish this for us. And so the tangent uh, function is the ratio of the side opposite the angle to the side adjacent. So we have h over 5,000 equals tangent of theta. Now, let's go ahead and take the derivative of both sides of that equation. And in doing that, on the left-hand side, we'll get 1 over 5,000 dh dt equals secant squared of theta d theta dt. Now recall that we're looking for the necessary rate of change in the camera's angle. So what we're looking for is we want to find d theta dt. So recall that um, secant is uh, the reciprocal of cosine. So we could say 1 over 5,000 times dh dt equals 1 over cosine squared theta d theta dt. And then multiply both sides of that equation by cosine squared of theta. And so we would end up with cosine squared of theta over 5,000 dh dt equals d theta dt. And with this equation, we can find that rate of change that we're interested in. So, uh, doing a little bit of an inventory here, um, we need to know what dh dt is, and we were actually given that in, um, in the question, in the prompt. Um, we know what h, what we want h to be, but notice that h is not a component of this relationship between the two rates h does not appear. However, uh, we do need to know cosine of theta. So coming back over here to, cos to our triangle, to determine cosine of theta, we need to know the side adjacent, which is 5,000, and we need to know the hypotenuse, which we haven't found yet. And the information about um, the height is going to be instrumental in us being able to determine the hypotenuse at this moment in time. So, we know now that rather than a generic height, we are now looking at a specific snapshot, and that specific snapshot in time is when that height is 
1200 feet. And so we need to know what the hypotenuse is. I'll call this um, S. And so we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to determine this. So uh, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that um, S squared is equal to 1200 squared plus 5000 squared. And since we're talking about the length of a side of a triangle, we'll go ahead and only work with the positive square root of S. So, um, or take the positive root rather than both plus and minus. So our S is going to be uh, the square root of 1200 squared plus the square root of 5000 squared. And with a little bit of arithmetic and simplification, uh, we end up with this being um, 200 times the square root of 661. And so let's go ahead and include that in our sketch. This is 200 times the square root of 661. Okay, so now we can say what uh, cosine of theta is. Um, we can say that um, cosine of theta is 5,000 over 200 times the square root of 661. So let's go ahead and write this uh, this way. Um, back to our equation relating the rates, we'll have 1 over 5,000. And then let's go ahead and include the cosine. So cosine of theta is 5,000 over 200 times the square root of 661 squared. And then our dh dt uh, we know is 800 uh, feet per second. And then that's going to be equal to d theta dt. So a little bit more simplification here. Um, let's go ahead and write this as 1 over 5,000. Uh, squaring our numerator, we'll have 5,000 squared. Uh, squaring our denominator, we'll have 200 squared times the square root of 661 squared. So in essence, it, um, those eliminate each other. So I simply end up with just simply 661 um, there in my denominator. So 661 uh, times the 800, um, that should give us our d theta dt. Now running that, uh, computing through the calculator uh, and doing some simplification such as uh, this 5,000 in the denominator can divide out one of those. Um, one of the 200s in this denominator can divide into the 800 and give us a 4, and so forth. Also noticing that um, this remaining 200 in the denominator can divide into this remaining 5,000. And so 200 in the denominator into 5,000 in the numerator will go 25 times. So in the numerator here, we have what's remaining as 25 times 4, or 100, over basically 1 times 1 times 1 times 661. So what we have is 100 over 661 radians per second, which is approximately um, 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths of a radian per second. Okay, so now what remains is for us to interpret our work. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we found is that 
A camera located 5,000 feet from the launch pad must rotate at a rate of 100 over 661, or approximately 0.15 radians per second to remain focused on a rocket 1,200 feet above the launch pad and with velocity of 800 feet per second. I was missing a word here, with. Okay, well, let's go ahead and stop this segment for part A and then come back and look at a second question about this rocket.